Hello my friends and welcome back to the Mighty Miniatures campaign. It is episode 23 and uh, we lined up a contract for ourselves so let's get straight to it. I still can't believe that uh, that mission in the last episode where it was like a locust and a striker and that was all the enemies. I'm just like uh... what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> huh. The difficulty is so random. Just the spikes are, are you know, all over the place. Uh, sometimes a one and a half skill mission means heavies. And sometimes it means whatever the hell that last mission was. With the Locust and the Striker. Well, anyway, this is low salvage rights, this one. So... It's potentially going to be mediums and maybe even a heavy. But we'll see. <clears throat> I've considered doing some plot, actually. Um, but really, uh, you know, I've collected a lot of mech parts, but I've not necessarily um, gotten anywhere. As you're aware, if you've been following this for the last 10 episodes, I still am using more or less the same four mechs that I've had since the beginning. Oh, it's a spider. Also known as target practice. Well, I don't want to be down in the ditch, so let's just keep pushing up. A tank. Oh, nice. It's a headshot. Oh, another tank. A galleon. That's a miss. This mech here is my one hope for capturing something nice, I guess. Can you get a shot? Yes, you can. On my way. Excellent. Here we go. Oh, good hit. Outstanding. Well, don't, because they're evil. I'm listening. On my way. Let's push on up. There is a real potential for a for a pilot fatality oh, here. Mm -hmm. Although I'm not really interested in actually capturing a spider. I think I just hit on something special. Okay. Commander. Commander, indeed. For king and country. Copy that. Okay, I kind of need this guy to die now. Which seems unlikely, but whatever. Acknowledge. Oof. Scored a critical hit. Okay. Whatever the tank is, it's quick and it's pushing up. Oh, it's a striker. It must be a striker. I don't know any other vehicles that are that fast that are packing LRM-10. Where are you going? Well, that worked nuts. Oh, it's a light. 
I thought it was a medium. Never mind. That's just a piece of junk. Oh look, you're in range. Uh, copy. And now you're dead. Uh. Blat. I do like melee. Against lights. That's a kill, Commander. Can quite clearly see the striker. In fact, I might even just be able to kill him right now. All kill it! Excellent. Enemy unit destroyed. Should get a sound pack. Get some of Shinji's whiniest quotes. Right, I guess we'll just kill this Jenner quickly by aiming for the head and therefore blasting the CT. And there's more where that came from. Jesus, he took a right pounding there. Oh, good hits. <laughs> he missed. Ha. Uh, copy. That's pretty rare that that happens. Blat. Did another easy mission, which is not bad. Not a bad thing. I need money. Another one for the kill board. On the move. Let's go, boys. Okay. Uh -huh. Location confirmed. Location confirmed. <laughs> I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Okay. So the convoy has to go down the road to here. And the enemy is uh, no idea. Around, I'm sure. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Let's roll. There might not actually be any enemies. Sometimes he says that and there actually aren't any enemies and they turn up when the convoy actually enters the box. My main issue is that the map border is like all the way out here so they could literally appear anywhere. And there's always one um, vehicle that lags behind. Whoa. That was weird. Moving. That was weird. I somehow managed to click out of the game and then straight back into it. How odd. Damn, these APCs are quick. Always such a pain in the ass to deal with when you're uh, facing them. There we go. Look, see, he's lagging behind this one now. 
It's a deliberate thing, I think. To make the missions harder. One APC will always uh, lag behind, suffer some sort of engine problem. Okay. Jesus, they just actually just teleported in. They get a surprise action, because they just teleported on top of me, okay. Oh. oh okay, it's a spider. Whatever. Whatever. Gotta tag all these enemies and make sure that they pay attention to me and only me. That is a bad chance to hit, so I'm gonna just try and enhance it. Okay, it's not bad. Oh. Got another one incoming. And I can't tag it because I can't see it. Uh, I do not have multi shot on this pilot. What's up, boss? Ready for orders. Let's send in the tree surgeon. Just gotta tag the Jenner. Probably could have tagged the spider as well, to be fair. Hopefully these APCs roll up and shoot the spider. That is my uh my hope. Firing on multiple enemies. I'll rip another evasion token off him because that will help. Oh, headshot. Okay, you have not got any ability to shoot multiple targets, so... Affirmative. Okay. Nice work. You missed, but that is what I wanted you to do. Oh, lovely. The APCs might totally bag themselves that spider. That APC not move. Weird. Wow, that actually hurt a little bit. A little bit. Nice hit. 
sadly not fatal. He is begging to be uh, molested by this group of APCs. Yes, Commander. Ah, uh, no, wrong. Just waiting on you, Commander. Wrong, Mech Warrior. Ah, it's not good, is it? Good to go. It's not good. But we will just do some evasion bashing. Oh, nice! Sadly, no weapon system in that arm. I think the PPC is in the other arm. No weapon system in that arm either. I wonder what this is. Probably a Jenner. position Got it. and we'll do some more evasion token tagging so this is the guy I want to shoot and then these two we will just tag them uh -huh. giving the APCs more chance to get some work done nice Wow, I think I shot my ship there. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Okay, I'm gonna reserve Taskmaster now. Did you just skip your turn? God damn it, why would you skip your turn? Nice. Nice. The expected result. Come on, shoot the Jenner. Nice. Totally worth stripping his evasion away. Nice. It's all about getting the most out of your allies. I have more chance of hitting the Jenner. Firing at him. So let's fire at him. Damage, my friends, is minimal. Oof. Warning. Armor low. I still need to know what this is. Still have no idea. Damn. Oh, oh, it's a 
it's a Vindicator. Receiving you. May I have your attention, please? Kill it. Special delivery. God damn, I got his leg. But I actually just wanted to get him full stop. Let's get over here and just try and protect this APC. Give this guy something to think about. Come on, shoot the Jenner. Nice! Nice! Chalk one up for the APC. That was two solid hits on the uh, on the Vindicator there as well. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, time for you to die. Four, nasty. Should have run when you had the chance. Face forward into the dirt. I'm gonna try and capture the Vindicare. I'm always interested in uh, some Vindicator bits. Considering I'm still using a Panther and a Spider. One good kick in the shins. Or the leg. Orders. Firing. Ooh. Side torso's gone. One more good side torso hit, plus the leg, three injuries. Commander. That is what we are looking for, is three injuries. Or for him to just topple. In fact, if I just spray him with missiles, he might just topple naturally. Blat. Now, since none of my mech warriors have got a cooled shot bonus, well, let's just see what I want him to get back up so that I can do directional damage, which is going to be better. Warning. Armor low. This guy is tryharding really badly right now. Uh, this is the wrong side to hit. I want to hit this side. Do I have enough? No. I 
I can't put enough distance between me and him to get the optimal accuracy. But I will try. Nope, fail. What can I do for you? Coordinates received. It's a fail. Orders. Position confirmed. That is most unfortunate. Unless I get a headshot or something, this guy is, uh, toast. Engaging. I'm on my way. I don't want him to live, because, uh, the Shadowhawk has got quite a few blow-throughs. And I don't want a repair bill. Although, his rear armor is still full. Commander. I feel like a few more LRM hits and he might just fall over and, and die of a heart attack. Eh, this is going to be fail. I'm pretty sure. Oh well. No, oh, no, we're hitting the leg. I'm out of long range missiles. Waiting for orders. Okay, we didn't really hit anything there. Time to die, my friend. I'm sorry it had to be this way. This Forgive me. Good. Did you see that? Did you see it? Mission six. Ah, I wanted to capture, but it just was not to be. Angles were bad. Ah, oh, such a shame as well, because a capture would have meant that I would have had one. Oh well, whatever. Bits of everything. Spare parts for everyone. Still, being happy over capturing a 45 ton mech is not exactly like... <laughs> it's not brilliant, is it? It doesn't change my position much. Unfortunately. Okay.
Manufacturing facility. Capture base includes travel to Weldry. They really want me to go back there, don't they? Still, the money on offer is very nice for Two Skull. And Two Skull is about what I'm looking for, so I think we will accept this contract. Two eight. Three twelve. Let's go with three twelve. I still want some sea bills. I'm just trying to build up a reserve of sea bills. So I might potentially get some Argo upgrades. In fact. There have been a lot of like punishment events for not having any recreation. So I might just buy the lounge. I don't know, it's it's a lot of money, really. This is what I actually want. But represents a serious cost right now. Um, um, I feel like this is so risky because I'm not currently content with the amount of sea bills I have, but I do want this, and I want the VR pod that follows. Ah, uh, let's leave it for now. We play safe. Because you can't sell uh, ship upgrades. You can't switch them off. So once you start building up the uh, the operating expenses, you can't just switch them off. You can't, like, scale it back or tone it down. The only thing you can do is use morale sapping um, morale sapping uh, low costs mode. Oh, I'm liked by the restoration. Woohoo! One free morale point. Woohoo! Low spirits has expired, high spirits has expired, both on Medusa. Work that one out. We have arrived and are ready to deploy. Capture base could be a good opportunity to get some, some good parts. Put some sea bills in the bank. Yeah, a few people were asking me, like, why don't you just do full salvage all the time? It's better money. It It isn't better money. That's the problem. When it's eight parts to a mech, it's a hell of a lot of parts to actually make a mech and sell it. And in addition to that, there's the risk that you don't get um, enough mech bits to fully utilize your uh, your full salvage rights. So 50-50 is reasonably uh, good. Wow, we have a great position up here. This is like, you couldn't have picked a nicer place to drop in. Oh, I misclicked there. On 
my way. On my way. Enemy detected. I copy. Location confirmed. Well, this positioning is great. Okay, it's going to be some light that I just need to turn into scrap metal. A panther! And of course, such a massive height advantage. I should just land every shot. What can I do for you? You betcha. Time to die. Standing by. If he uh shoots back next turn and unbraces, he's just gonna get Absolutely annihilated. Got it. Ooh, headshot. Orders. Engaging. Just goes to show how good being braced is though. The amount of damage that you can absorb just because you're braced. Oh, that was a good shot. You're missed. That's probably a panther as well. It's a whole lot of lights, that's probably a commando. Or some tactical medium. The only light I can think of that's got a large laser is the commando. Waiting for orders. Corta! Corta, are you dead yet? Do you have a shot from there? No. Receiving. Forget your turn for now. Affirmative. Sadly, being high up does not change the range of your weapons. You would think that it would. But it does not. Wow, that's a headshot and a knockdown. If those side torsos get caved in, he might actually just die of his injuries. Waiting on you, Commander. In fact, this side torso here has only got 3 HP, so I'm just going to try that and see what happens. Nice! Money in the bank. Another panther. Panthers make fine replacement for the spider that I have lying around, to be fair. Oh, speaking of spiders. And there's the commando, as predicted. Ah, oh well. So one thing that you can do is um, you can retreat, then wait for the enemy to do whatever they're doing, and then come up and shoot. But it tends to work 
it, it tends to work either only if you're lighter than the enemy or if um, you have ace pilot. The only thing that I can use it for realistically is uh, removing a mech from the front line that is damaged. Ah, if I can only get a bit closer. But still maintain some good height. Perfect. Perfect! Deliverance! Oh, it's a headshot. Yes, Commander. This might be another one that dies of his injuries when I'm done with him. Acknowledge. Oh, that shoulder got a pounding. Yes, Commander. Firing. Nice. Oh, yeah. Sadly, not quite enough damage to push him over. Oh, he jumped. Jumping doesn't recover a lot of stability, does it? In the base game. No. Like one bar. So he might still fall over. That's about the best the spider could have hoped for. It's not going to help him, though. And the commando came out of cover. Because he's a fool. Good to go. Okay. Topple him. Oh, nice. That's another injury. And now he'll fall over for another injury. He might die here and now. Yep. Nice. There's going to be six panther pieces in the loot table. Good to go. That's amazing. Oh wait, I can punch him? I can punch him! Moving out. What better way to get rid of the light's evasion this is gonna be good. than to punch him straight through his arm. Okay. Kill it. Flush it down the sink. Down the plug hole. Down came the LRMs that wiped the spider out. How dare you shoot me in the back? Can't take many more hits like that. Commander. Don't think you're going to get away with that. Target confirmed. Aim for the head to finish the CT quicker. I believe you shot me in the back. Wow, the light show just did so much damage to him. <coughs> oh, headshot. Not that I really care about capturing a commando.
Nice. Nice. That one's good. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. You're heading your way. Oh, okay, we're not done. Let's take the highest positions possible and wait for the imminent arrival of whatever these reinforcements are. And knowing this difficulty level, it could be anything. I mean, the last time it was a Black Knight and an Orion. Whatever it is, it's quick. It's a shadow hawk. Not really something I want to capture more of, unless it's the laser one, which this one is. Yeah, it's the laser one. Okay. I actually wouldn't mind having that. Standing by. Roger. Engaging target. Wow. That was a CT hit, so I probably won't capture this guy. In fact, he's taking way too much CT damage already. It's just vigilance because you are going to be on the receiving end of the enemy. I would have loved to have captured this, but I can't I can't afford to uh, take any uh, big risks in trying to capture when I don't know what the two mechs behind it are. Could potentially be anything. real hurt on him there. Sadly out of range for the uh, SRM2s. Alright, finish the job. Got it. Please? Nice. Good, solid kill. A centurion? Okay. That's another mech I wouldn't mind capturing. Let's see what the last one is. Oh dear. No, wait, is it party? No. It's not the party back. It's the bog standard deadly one. Okay. Left arm and CT is taken pretty heavy damage. Need to rotate next turn. The party back. Aye, 
I do not want to capture a uh, hunchback 4G because its uh, mountings are not very useful to me. I could only fit, you know, two medium lasers, a small laser, and a AC2. Which makes it pretty firepower poor. Has he made it to cover? He's made it to cover. God damn it. Okay. Gotta protect that left side because it's taking a lot of damage. Is that where the weapons are? Yes. Oh, there's ammo there. Unusual way to disable a hunchback. But if I hammer the left side, maybe I get the ammo. Hmm. I wouldn't mind capturing this Centurion. What's up, boss? But once again, it's the risk. I'm out of LRM. Sweet. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Kill it with the righteous purifying flame. Ah, uh, this guy has not got enough jump jets to actually get down. Or do anything useful. try and kill it. Since he's lying down on the job. Nope. I'm going to move him in the hope that next turn I can jump him lower. Or at least bring the SRMs into play. Which means that I can't hit the hunchback this turn, but whatever. Nice, he's getting closer, that's exactly what I want. Kill it, please. Affirmative. Four HP. How how dare you? How dare you survive with four HP? Oh man. One jump jet is really not doing it, is it? I should really fix this mech. Sweet. Yep. Roger. Okay, so we're going to try and capture the Centurion. I don't know how many bits of Centurion I have, but it's a good mech and I want it.
two jets. Copy that. Not enough to get down there easily. Okay, he's getting closer to me. He's helping me out. What's that rear armor like? On my way. Let's go. It's time to get physical. Oh, nice. Good to go. Time for a free injury. Did you sustain an injury that wasn't your fault? Call mech warriors for you. Here we go. Get the leg. Okay, most of that managed to miss the leg. Come on, hit the leg. Ooh, that's a hit. Isn't it? Supporters. Okay, that counts as a side sector shot. Get the leg. You know, I'll probably knock him over now without even getting the leg, to be honest. Yes, Commander. Get someone to just push him over. Um, hang on. This might do it. If I hit the other side. Here we go. There's no point in blowing off the leg to do an injury if the mech in question might fall over naturally. Right, Commander. You might as well then have him fall over naturally and rip the leg off next time. If that makes sense. Hope that makes sense to everybody. Okay, there's real potential here for me to actually get the leg, but whatever. Yep. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Down he goes. Okay, now we wait for him to get back up, if only so we can just push him over. Okay, that's an interesting target choice. I thought he was going to focus glitch some more. Hit him in the back. Why? Because his back armor is full and I just want to do stab damage more than anything. Nice. Okay. Now we just pummel him until he falls over. Got it. Yes. 
Ah, oh, crap, he got his turn. Yes, Commander. This might kill him, but if it does kill him, it will kill him because of leg damage. Okay. That's okay. Two pieces. Sweet. Waiting for orders. Moving to position. Let's go. Okay. Sweet. Not a bad day's work, that. There'll be a lot of salvage in the loot table. Sadly, we didn't go full salvage, but you know. Nah, I don't actually have many Centurion bits. That is a shame. Oh well, it's a start. Nice. A little piece of everything. But nothing completed. It sucks, man. I must have... I must have a, at least six or seven mediums now just sat as parts in my mech lab. And a good couple of heavies. but just getting all different variations of everything. That's where we're getting hit. Oh yeah, someone was saying about selling the mech components, but you can't actually sell them. That's a... Uh, that's a rogue tech feature, not a base game feature. Unfortunately. Oh. I'll take it. Ooh. I'll take that. Plus two injury resist cockpit mod. Eh. I, generally speaking, don't find injuries to be a problem in this game. And... 200,000 C-bills is a lot of money to me right now. Let's see what there is. A straight up battle. It's about sending a message. Or a three and a half skull destroy base. Ah, uh, I like destroy bases, but three and a half skull scares me. <laughs> Since the game likes to dish out heavies, it'll it'll be the defenders will be all right. The base defenses will be simple enough. I'll take all that out, and it'll be like ah, oh, there's enemy reinforcements, and the reinforcements will be like a swarm of heavies. So I think the safe, the safe play is the best play for now. Until I am a little bit more secure. 
Look at all these components. I mean, how many variations are there? It's ridiculous. This almost feels a bit like Rogue Tech. Looking at just the mediums, we nearly have a Vindicator. What else have we got that's close to finished? We've nearly finished a Wolverine. There's also a potential for a Disco back if we see a couple of them in a mission, but they're not that common. And on the heavy front, we seem to have just a little bit of everything now. I'm, I'm almost sure that this is every heavy there is. I can't think of any others. Off the top of my head. Oh, catapult. We haven't got any catapult bits. We had the opportunity for a catapult bit, but we uh, didn't go for it because we wanted to finish a Vindicator at that time. So... It seems like... Um completing anything is still quite far away. I don't know, you know, I am tempted to go for this and go full salvage. And just see if I can get away with something nice. But this is a straight up battle for low salvage, so that usually means difficult enemies. That's what I'm going to go for. What the hell? Okay, that's easy enough. It's a shame that you can't gain reputation with the local governments around here as well, because um, I get the feeling that that would be useful if you had like a general periphery reputation. Right, cool. We have arrived. Okay, I'm just going to check out the store quickly. Lots of nice weapons I can't use. Shame. Okay, join me next time. We're going to hit out some more contracts, and um, I will think about maybe doing some harder ones to see if I can capture some heavies, but the difficulty is so random, and my position still is so fragile that, uh, uh, you know, the, the risk is really high, and I don't like to withdraw, because it just feels a bit a bit cheesy to just press the withdraw button and leave. If I've completed the primary objective and it's good faith withdraw, that's fine. But uh, do an ultra hard mission or something and then there's like a wall of heavies there and I'm just like, nope, and I press the withdraw button. I don't know. It's not, it's not good. Anyway, whatever. I'll see you guys next time.